I'm going to explain today how, how to retrieve data using self statement. After completion of this lesson, you should be able to do the following. The first one is SQL select statement, how to use SQL select statement and how to execute the basic SQL select statement. What is a select statement? A select statement is easy to retrieve the data from the table. So and the capabilities of select statement is first one is projection and second one is selection and third one is join. What is projection? Projection is the columns in retrieved by the query and selection is rows that are written by the query and join is data that is written from one or more tables based on some conditions. I will explain how to retrieve the data from multiple tables in next next tutorial. So what is the basic select statement syntax? Select you can use you can specify column names here or you can specify instead of specifying all columns you can specify star or you can use a keyword like distinct or expression or alias. Alias is nothing but other name to column or expression and from from class and the table name so select in this statement select identifies the columns to be displayed and from identifies the table containing those columns that means so whatever the columns you want to specify you have to specify in the select clause on the table the data you want to retrieve should be specified in the from class. That means table names should be specified in the from class. Okay. So I will show you an example how to retrieve the data. This is a basic select statement select star from employees. So I'm running this query now. So it's showing me all the columns here up to department ID okay so let me check that select star from departments so let me run the departments select star from departments so it's showing me four columns department ID department name manager ID and location ID so instead of specifying star we can also specify individual column names like department name department id department name so now it's retrieving data from two columns it's showing only two column data So how to write the select statement? There are some condition writing a select statement. SQL select statement on our case sense too. Let me show you. This is in row case. We can specify this select statement in capitals. run this one nothing S select statement is not case sense to all the SQL statements are not case sense to and select statements se SQL statements can be entered on one or more lines this is I'm running on this I'll return in single line you can split this one into two like this one as I see you can write whole thing in one line 
or you can write that one into two lines. Keywords cannot be abbreviated or split across the lines. Here, select is a keyword and from is a keyword. So this cannot be abbreviated. If you write like this, see what is showing, what is giving from keyword not found where expected. So keywords are cannot be abbreviated or split across the lines. Clauses are usually placed on separate lines. This one is a first select clause and this one is from class. The whole this one is select statement. One SQL statement. This is set clause and this is from class. And these two lines are single select statement or you can say SQL statement. So it's what is saying clauses are usually placed on separate lines. This is the first class and this is second class. And intended intents are used to enhance readability. So this is not for to user, so I'm using yeah. This is the you need to write the code. This is the coding standards. Better use intention for readability purpose. In SQL developer, SQL statements can optional be terminated by semicolon and semicolon columns are required when you execute multiple select statements. So I'm writing select team and select star from departments. So two select statements are here there. So I'm running these two select statements. The first one to show in department and second one it is so. so when you want to run two select statement specify semicolon for each select SQL statement in SQL class SQL start class you are required to end each SQL statement with a semicolon okay now our next lesson is automatic expressions and null values in the select statement